Hello, in this video clip we are going to demonstrate how to monitor near critical activities in Primavera P6. Here we have a schedule and on the left we have listed all the activities in that schedule. On the Gantt chart you can see the relationship between activities. You can also see that we've scheduled this project so we know what the critical path is. The critical path is all activities that have zero total float. I've also listed in the activities view the column total float, which displays the total float of each activity. This is so we can see in the total float column, or on the Gantt chart, all activities that have zero total float, and could cause a delay in your project if not performed exactly according to the schedule. But what about activities that are near critical? That is, what about activities that could become critical even with minor delays? These are your near critical activities and you need to keep an eye on them in addition to your critical activities. This video clip demonstrates how to create a filter and corresponding bar chart so you can easily view near critical activities on the Gantt chart. The first step in the process of creating a near critical bar is to create a near critical filter. To get to the filter dialog, click the filter icon in the layout tool group at the top of the screen. Or you can go to the top drop down menu and select view and then filter dialog appears. The first set of filters you see come pre-programmed in P6. The second set of filters are global and they are created by the administrator. Then you have the user-defined filters. We want to create a user-defined filter, so select the new plus button and type in the name. The parameter for this filter is total float. The equivalency is, is within the range of. The low value is 0 0.1 and put in a lowercase d because the uppercase d will not work. Type in the high value 10 lowercase d, and that is it. That is our near critical filter, and it is on. Turn it off for now, we don't need it on just yet, select OK. The next step in the process of creating a way to monitor near critical activities is to create a bar. Let's go to the bar dialog, which is the bars icon in the top layout tool group. Or you can go through the top drop down menu. View, bars, and that brings up the bars dialog. To create a near critical bar, hit the plus add button. And that brings up a new bar. For the name, let's type in near critical. For the time scale, it's going to be like all other bars. It's going to be remain bar. For the filter, we want to have normal and near critical. Also, notice at the top, I selected all selected filters, which puts an and between each filter so it is normal and near critical. I could also do any selected filter, which would be normal or near critical, which is a larger set. But we want to do the AND. So put it back to all selected filters. Let's say OK. For the bar style colour, I like to use the colour magenta for near critical bars. So that is it. That is our near critical bar. And if I hit apply, 
Notice you don't see any magenta bars. It doesn't appear. Well, there is a method to this dialogue, and you've got to view the bars here as a stack of bars. Where you are in the stack, either high or low, makes a difference. And the clue is the shift up and shift down arrows you see here. Our problem is our near critical bar is too high up in the stack. We have to move it below the non-critical bar. Let's go and move it down one more to below critical bars. And when I hit apply, you will see the near critical bars. What's happening here is it overlays the bars that are lower in the stack over top bars that are higher in the stack. It first lays out the non-critical remain bars. And then over the top of that, the lower bar in the stack. The near critical, it overlays on top of that. So that is our near critical bar. We can do one more thing. We can add a label. We can add a total float label. So when I hit apply, you may barely see that it's displaying a float of four days for grade site and nine days for install conduit. Not only do you see the magenta near critical activities, but you also see the total float value. There you have it. This is how to create a near critical bar so you can view the near critical activities on the Gantt chart. Also, you can view the actual value on the Gantt chart, which gives you more insight than just displaying a total float column in your activities view.